In this video, we're gonna look at how you can get started to actually load in Virtuoso's accelerated test pack for Dynamics 365 to start creating your tests in an accelerated fashion against Dynamics 365. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create a project. And let's call this our Dynamics 365 project. Now, once we've done that, we're not gonna create a goal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna import a goal. And actually what we've made available publicly is uh, our Dynamics 365 project import. And to do that, you need to go across to our Discord server, where the link is at the bottom of the video now to go to Discord. And when you come into our Discord server, you're gonna see there's a Virtuoso Dynamics 365 forum. And what we've got available is a, a goal, basically that you can download. So if you download that, then what you can do is then import that into Virtuoso. So if we go ahead and import our goal, and then we're gonna drag and drop the file that we downloaded from Discord into the box here. And by importing that, what you will have is a preloaded goal, which contains example login steps, uh, create account, create contact, a journey which shows you how to interact with various elements, which is covered in another video in this sequence, and then working with APIs. So what it also contains is an environment that is ready set up with the various variables. You're gonna to need to be able to log in, uh, put in things like OTP key if you're set up with multi-factor authentication, and then some additional fields if you want to work with APIs. So the first thing you need to do is set up your environment before you can run the test. Now note that these tests are based on the Dynamics 365 Sales Professional module. However, things like the login steps will be completely common against Dynamics, any Dynamics instance. So let's go in and put in the details, the first of which is your URL for your instance. So you could put that in. You can then put in things like your username and then your password, of course. And the only other consideration immediately is if you've got your uh, multi-factor authentication set up, you'll need to put in the OTP key. But for now, I'm just gonna put in the password and note that's marked as sensitive, so you can't see the value. If you have got multi-factor authentication and you need to generate OTP codes, there is a video that shows you how to set up and get your secret key for the OTP key. Otherwise, for the moment, we're not gonna set up the rest of the details because these are all related to making API tests. So that's actually enough for us to get started. So coming back to our project dashboard now and loading up the goal, if you were to go ahead and run this test now, it will call in and get the URL from the environment as well as the username password. So when we run this through, then you'll immediately start seeing that it will play against your Dynamics instance, and we'll start going through the login steps to put in your username and password, including also getting verification codes if you set up the OTP. Again, that's covered in a separate video. So at minimum, for any Dynamics 365 module, whether it's finance or sales or so on, this is enough to get you logged in and will come in to the first dashboard screen that you see after getting logged in. So you can see that the login steps are already created and by being in a purple box here, that's actually what we call a library checkpoint. So you've got a reusable sequence that you can put into any test that you build. Now, if you are using the CRM or the sales professional module, then this should go through and it will actually start creating an account using randomized details. So here, generating a random company name and actually what we've got here, it demonstrates the sequences of natural language steps in Virtuoso that you need to use to be able to interact with Dynamics. They're pretty straightforward. There are kind of a straightforward sequence to do so. And what we're gonna cover in other videos is some best practice around how to write these steps, whether it's against form fields, or indeed we've got a whole sequence of interacting with common elements. So for instance, drop downs or icons or where there are multiple elements just showing various ways to be able to interact and use Virtuoso's natural language against any screen within Dynamics 365. But that should be enough initially to start you loading in and at least get to the login steps, where from here you could simply come in and say, if I wanted to create a new journey, let's say from my login steps, I could hover at the bottom, click new journey from here, and maybe I call this my, I don't know, test five, for example. And by running this, it basically very quickly has me logged into the platform 
And if you go ahead and watch the just the short best practice video about then how to author your test steps, you should be authoring within a very short space of time your automated functional UI uh, tests against your Dynamics 365 using Virtuoso's natural language.